Welcome, welcome everyone to another episode of Time for BL. This is the podcast where we review movies, TV shows, novels, and comics, all in the boys' love genre. I just want to start this off by saying the amount of people who are like, is it going to have a good ending? Oh my gosh, I hope it has a good ending. (laughs) I was like, why would they say that? And then I finally finished um, the episode and I saw what's, you know, coming for episode 12 and I was just laughing because I was like, well, that makes sense. I guess they have to put the breakup in there. (laughs) But anyway, we're talking about episode 11. Let's go. All right. Uh, um, overall, least favorite episode. I will say that right off the bat, it is my least favorite episode. It was so slow and drawn out, especially in the first part. Um, it did make me wonder: did they run out of things to write? Um, especially since that definitely, like, no part of that story was in the books, in the book whatsoever. Um, like other parts of the story i can see where they've drawn they drawn drew drew dragged whatever drew inspiration from the book for certain things and i see where they just created something completely different on um, that part i definitely know they were inspired by uh the scene in the book where pat tells pran he wants to just run away like let's just run away we can go to the beach we can go anywhere we want let's just run away from all of this um the that that was not verbatim yeah but i could see where they they drew inspiration for um this whole story from there but oh my gosh i did not think that an entire storyline of just uh pat and pran at the beach would get boring but it did and um that's that's more i think of them like just trying to think of things to put in there that they haven't done at the beach yet or what else can we add and what can we change and blah 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 um but overall is it still a good episode yeah i I actually enjoyed the parts that were very enjoyable i um dragged myself through the parts that were kind of so-so um, which is really what it is. It's just parts that were kind of, uh, uh, okay, I see what you're going with here. I've realized I've become annoyed with a lot of things. Um, like the scene where they were cooking with Junior, I was just like, oh, they're doing the whole, hey, imagine they're married and this is their child. And I'm like, stop it. <laughs> These are teenage boys. They're like 19. Stop it. <laughs> Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just the old person in me. I'm getting older. <laughs> and and I, I, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done <laughs> with that. I guess. That life. That life is behind me now. Um, but then again, yeah, if I was a 17-year-old girl watching that, 17-year-old me would have been like, Oh my God, it's so cute. It's like their son. <laughs> what was that voice? Um... So I I get why it's there. I have to always remind myself that I am not necessarily the target audience. The target audience is really uh, young teenage girls and young, uh, yeah, mainly mainly teenage girls, older teens and um, women in their early 20s mainly is who they're trying to target, but mainly teens. Um, And I'm not necessarily their target audience, so... Yeah. <laughs> I need to start watching shows made for me with all the old people who have jobs and pay mortgages and um uh I'm trying to think of boring things. They they go to the bank to to, to put money into their savings account to one day buy a house <laughs> even though they're paying a mortgage. That makes no sense. Anyway, <laughs> um but I have to remind myself it's not necessarily for me a lot of the scenes and kind of just uh, but it still kind of takes me out as a viewer um and also have to remind myself why i shouldn't have read the book yet i probably should have waited till it was over to read the book but i got bored um 
that with the book they also have to because in the book they are older they're graduating college and entering the workforce so a lot of the reactions to stuff is going to be different and these guys so that's why they've changed um added certain things because certain things i'm like why are you at oh yeah yeah there's they're young teens uh so of course that's more their mindset that's more something they'll do um i my biggest what would be my biggest complaint really i like i've been trying to think of other than of course the scene with them cooking with dinner because it wasn't horrible or anything like that it was still good it was just kind of corny for me um for the most part but other than that like what scenes was i like oh, again the singing scene I, I think i mentioned before i'm kind of over it um i think one of the reasons i'm over it is not like it's a musical where it's like oh it's a singing number it's a hey this character he actually wants to play music that's his dream but his mom won't let him so we're gonna have him sing every episode feels like it feels like they don't actually do that but it, it feels like that at some points um i oh the aunt i mean they not the aunt the junior's mom is what i'm thinking of that's why i said aunt like i get that you know we needed that for uh pran to start thinking about his mom and you know wanting to call her and all that stuff but I was like, that's so over dramatic. But whatever, I guess. <laughs> Again, it goes back to I think they kind of ran out of things to write, and or or try, are just trying to think of things to add in there that people would find interesting. Um, beach episodes are a staple, and um, double beach episodes do be getting <laughs> do be what is wrong with me who is getting into my head um double beach episodes seems to be the thing more and more um sultas s did it where um in the second season uh, well i said sultas s so you know i was talking about the second season but yeah they went to the beach twice in that one too every show needs a beach episode to um to to sell thailand's beaches where by the way there are beaches that foreigners cannot go to and i think that's a great thing every country should do that that is all <laughs> um um but yeah a lot of promoting of the beaches and i guess that is to um create tourism local tourism to the beaches um which makes sense you want to like be like hey you're a teen don't you want to go with your friends to the beach to hang out spend a weekend um you and your family should go to the beach for the weekend um to help promote uh, businesses in that in those areas um so it makes sense and um i'm not saying to take beach episodes out leave beach episodes in i'm here for it um but the double beach episode thing i i i wondered with with this i'm going to compare the double beach episodes with sosa's s double beach episodes i'm sorry <laughs> but like the sosa's s double beach episodes to be made so much sense um the first beach episode on sosa's s is because they take their juniors to the beach um for the ceremony to welcome them to get everybody to relax just to have fun all that stuff we saw it in the first season so of course in the second season we expect it the second beach episode also makes sense it's a beach retreat for all the employees and um this is where a lot of um story progression is also going to take place um with some characters so all good there too down for it cool um with this one the first beach episode okay it's a school trip they're going to the beach they're going to help do volunteer work all that stuff cool second beach episodes these two guys are coming back to the beach as a getaway also cool but doesn't feel fully natural like they could have ran away to anywhere and i yeah you want to utilize all the spots that you have location scout wise and money wise and and all that stuff and if you're promoting a certain area wise and all that stuff but it didn't feel it just didn't feel 
natural. Um, I don't know what I don't know what I wanted it to be or what I would even change to get it to feel more natural. I don't know. I feel like the bus scene did not help to make it feel natural of them like driving off on well, you know, being on the bus, going off and all that stuff. It didn't help to make it feel natural in any way. Um I didn't understand why they they I understood why they would go back to the place. Like that in a way makes sense because you know, this is where they finally in a sense admitted their feelings for each other without admitting their feelings for each other. Um so that makes sense. I don't understand why they feel like they have to come back to this guy and and uh, get help from him and uh, it's it was just silly to me. Maybe um, culturally it makes sense, but and and maybe that's the problem. I'm looking at it from a foreign mindset, and I don't understand why they would go back. But maybe culturally it would make sense why they would go back and why um this guy would not only remember them but give them somewhere to stay for free maybe maybe it's a a cultural thing that i don't understand which that could be the reason too and you know that's just that um but yeah for me it was just a scene that i was just like why 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 let them stay um <laughs> for free yeah they were working but it's still basically for free like and <laughs> I didn't understand why the other guy was so interested in them. Like, oh, there's a guy staying with you? Like, I was like, what, what are you doing? Checking them out? Like, what? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. <laughs> I mean, I am crazy, but maybe I'm really crazy. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I didn't necessarily understand why some of it was necessary. Um giving them the option i guess to be like hey we could just live here forever which i don't think anyone believes or believed that they would live there forever i mean and that's where i'll say the book did a better job of it the, the one place the book did a better job of it because in the book it talks a lot about how much pat loves his little sister and pat cares for his little sister and um he would never ever abandon her or think of abandoning her so when he does think i'm going to leave i'm going to get out of here and i'm never going to go back he just hears yeah what about your sister and he's like oh yeah shoot um all right i'm gonna go back (laughs) oh god i'm sorry that that was a spoiler from the book huh i i I apologize (laughs) i really apologize for that um if you're planning on reading it or reading it and i just blurted that out i i am so sorry but but that that's why I feel like maybe the book did a better job of that because it really like talked a lot about how much Pat cares for Pa and how much he loves her and um, how much he would he would just never just like leave her like that and if he ever thought of it like just the thought of her would bring him back very quickly um, the show. I like the dynamic between the two actors. They're cool. Um, But after reading the book, I I realized I don't feel the same love between Pat and Pa in the series that I do in the book. Um, Yeah, I feel like they're close and they care for each other and trust each other. But I don't feel that like if you even go near my sister touch her hurt her in any way i will destroy you like like you feel in the book if that makes sense (laughs) um but yeah um but that's the thing as well i feel like there's not too much to talk about with episode 11 because it was kind of just this dragged out hey we are escaping reality for a few days episode um i loved i did love the ending where we kind of get the full conversation they um between them and seeing what they wish was reality um 
what they wanted to be true. Uh, to have that, be able to have that close relationship and have their parents not care, and if them getting together would be something celebrated by their parents, um, because their parents don't hate each other. Um, I I thought that was really sweet. I loved <laughs> the little ink car scene we got. Uh, maybe that's what the episode was missing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wine and corn at the bar. So I like the wine and corn scene at the bar with them like hanging out because we get that in the book and I keep going back to the book I keep saying I won't do like fully all about the book because I want to do a separate like full review of the book but oh well um but we got that in the book why and corn like bonding over well not just why and corn but the entire two friend groups bonding over drinks at a bar getting drunk and you know being stupid and young and um so seeing that, I was like, okay, that's cool. They're hanging out now. And they're doing that. But then it brought me back to, I think it was my first review on Bad Buddy the series where I was like, I want them to get together. <laughs> and I was like, couple number three, couple number three. I went right back to that. Don't think it's going to happen. But like, I can ship it. I ship it. Corn and Y, shipped. Done. I don't care what you say. Unapologetic about it. Okay. Um, <laughs> so Corn and Y, I'm here for it anyway, still. I don't care. Um, Ink and Pop, been here for it. Ink showed up and I was like, Psh, forget everything. <laughs> I know who I want. <laughs> um, <laughs> Pat and Friend. Um, should I say this? All right, if it's going based off the books, with, which is kind of what I'm thinking because I did see a little thing that felt like all right let's take that what they've been doing is like let's take these elements from the books and rewrite it to make it better and the element from the book is the breakup yes in the book they break up I'm sorry again I'm sorry there was no warning I'm sorry um but yeah in the book they break up and I feel like they're taking that from the book the breakup scene but I'm worried as well to how they're going to use it. Um, because is it going to be we broke up to trick our parents? Or is it going to actually be we we broke up um, just to save the headache of the family? Um, and like, are they also going to do the storyline of one of them being shipped abroad I don't know if I talked about that before but one of them goes abroad to get away from the other um just just so that they can both have time apart and have peace and their families can have peace and they can just be broken hearted the entire time um um I definitely don't think they're going to add um the uh, other love interest that comes in I don't know if we even call them a love interest because there was no love it was just my parents said I had to (laughs) but I do wonder if that's going to come in which I don't think they'll do it because the way the episodes have been going especially since there's only one episode left I don't think GMMTV is going to do that now for people who are worried it's going to be an open ending honestly if it's an open ending most likely what's going to happen is just special episodes to wrap it up is what I'm thinking. I think they're just going to end it. Um, hopefully not. Actually, no, the ending in the book is okay. It's the ending in the, the, the um, stories, the little snippet stories after that I was like, hell no. Um, but I do think they're going to have a happy ending and then maybe we'll get some special stories um, later on in the year or something like that. Um, but I don't expect to see an open ending, uh, cause I just feel like with the, if seen as they've been going with the essence of the story so far with how much is left in the book, I don't think based on essence of the story, they have enough to keep dragging it on cause they're right near the end of the book at, at this point. Um, especially if they're going to cut out the mess, <laughs> Ooh, that was messy. 
when should I do the book review? <laughs> when do y'all want the book review? I, I, I want to do, I need to do a full book review and just talk about that book, especially talk about my least, least favorite chapter from the, I hate that chapter. Not because it was a horrible chapter. It was like cute for the most part until it got to the ending. And then I was like, this is nasty. It was so nasty. I read it to Mr. Young for him to go, ew, no, that's nasty. <laughs> exactly, it's nasty. <laughs> so let me know if you want, um, when you want the the um, book review. Should I do the book review right after um, I finish talking about Bad Buddy the series? Which I guess that could close out the month of January. That would work, right? Yeah, that, that would work. <laughs> um... But yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in to my weekly random ramble, <laughs> weekly ramblings, <laughs> weekly ramblings about Bad Buddy the series. This was Bad Buddy the series episode eleven, so we got one more episode left. Episode twelve. Whoo! I can't wait. Are you excited? I'm excited. <laughs> I'm very excited. If you if you could see my face and how excited it is. <laughs> I'm not excited. I'm actually really sad that it's ending um, because this has been a good series. The series was so good it made me read the book. And even though I was looking at the book like, what am I reading? I still kept reading the book. <laughs> so that's how good the series is. <laughs> it made me finish the book. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for tuning in. This is JD Young. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time when we make some more time for BL. Have a good whatever it is. Bye.